Awareness from ASD. I'm here to show you a little bit about our new product drop in the box. First, we'll start by seeing what's inside the package. Okay, so we have the cable, of course, the pull. And then we also have a mud ring that we'll show you how to use a little later. We have zip ties and blanks and a faceplate in order to label it. We have jacks to terminate onto the faceplate. We have a stripping tool to allow you to strip and both punch down. A surface mount box in case your application doesn't call for a wall. They come with patch cables to patch into your network. The next thing we're going to do is show you how to conveniently fasten the data drop in a box to a ladder. Once you've located the zip ties that come with your data drop in a box, you can use the corner mounting holes to easily and conveniently fasten it to a ladder. Now we're ready to pull our data drop in a box. Data drop in a box can easily be fastened together by simply putting zip ties through the holes at the top of the box. Once data drop in a box is securely fastened together, it allows for two or more cables to easily be pulled. Whenever pulling the cable in a drop sealing environment, there's a couple things you want to watch out for. Most importantly, it would be EMI, or interference due to electrical. In other words, you want to make sure that whenever you run the cable, you're not in close proximity to electrical equipment. That can cause interference and degrade the signal of the cable. You want to support them by your own devices and your own supports throughout the ceiling. Make sure you have a few feet clearance between any electrical equipment and your cable.